Pennsylvania is rich in its natural beauty, quality of life, and of course, history. The signing of the Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia set into motion a series of events that would lead to the formation of the United States of America and the U.S. Constitution. And it all started right here in Pennsylvania. Each state also has its own constitution, and Pennsylvania's is more than 300 years old. The Constitution sets up our state government in three separate branches, executive, legislative, and judicial. Our focus is on Pennsylvania's judicial branch and how the courts work to protect your rights. Think of the judiciary as a pyramid. At the base of the pyramid are the Magisterial District Courts and Philadelphia Municipal Court. These courts handle a huge number of cases, more than two million a year, Traffic tickets, landlord-tenant disputes, or underage drinking might land a person before one of these judges. They also issue arrest and search warrants, and can set and accept bail. The next level on the pyramid is the trial level, called the Court of Common Pleas. This is where your divorce may be heard, where you may be called to serve as a juror, or where your child's adoption is finalized. Trial courts hear all types of cases, from criminal and elder or child abuse cases to business transactions. On average, 700,000 cases move through the trial courts every year. Among the trial courts are problem-solving courts, offering rehabilitation programs for defendants struggling with behavioral problems like drug addiction and untreated severe mental illness. Not satisfied with the ruling of a trial court? Depending on the type of case, you likely can appeal to one of the appellate courts. Pennsylvania has two intermediate appellate courts. Both courts determine if errors were made at the trial court level, but they hear different types of cases. The Superior Court is one of the busiest intermediate appellate courts in the country and is the appeals court for most citizens and businesses. The court's decisions have a significant impact on Pennsylvania's economy and the quality of life of our citizens. Commonwealth Court is unique in that it hears only civil cases that involve state or local government. It is the only court like it in the country. Commonwealth Court not only hears appeals, but sometimes sits like a trial court in certain cases, such as a constitutional challenge to a state law or a tax dispute. Still not satisfied with the result of your initial appeal, you can file an appeal to the highest court in the state, the Supreme Court. Dating to 1684, the Supreme Court is the highest court in the Commonwealth and the oldest appellate court in the nation. Seven justices serve on the court, and their job is to make the final judgment in interpreting Pennsylvania's laws and our Constitution. The Supreme Court has full administrative authority over all aspects of Pennsylvania's judicial system. The Pennsylvania Constitution made it possible for anyone, anywhere in the state to seek justice, and judges and juries work hard every day to be fair. Modern times and technology have expanded accessibility to Pennsylvania's courts, from ensuring court users can fully participate if they need language assistance, to posting electronic case information available online. Pennsylvania courts approach each and every day with this focus to keep courts accessible, fair, effective, and accountable. It's the American way, and it began right here in Pennsylvania.